We have the lights turned low today because we are about to make a hot toddy blue blazer style. It's about to get lit. The most important ingredient in this cocktail, honestly, it's the fire. Now be careful, I have burned the hair off my hands once or twice with some random sprays. Hold it a little bit away from your body and you will not make the mistake I did. Let's learn how to make a hot toddy blue blazer style. Let's make our own variation on a blue blazer here. So we have three different spirits. We're gonna talk about them each individually. We're gonna use my favorite type of bourbon whiskey. It's called Bottled in Bond. It's essentially government verified, legitimately aged whiskey. It was an act in the late 1800s that essentially said, you cannot underage whiskey, you cannot gussy it up with tobacco juice and caramel coloring, so on and so forth. They created a law that if you wanted to call it Bottled in Bond, you had to age it for at least four years and bottle it at exactly 100 proof. So when you're looking around for good bang for your buck bourbons, Bottled and Bond is a great choice to go. In addition, we have some Smith & Cross rum, really funky, interesting Jamaican rum. It's at navy strength, which would be 114 proof. And then per the original Blue Blazer recipe, we have some Scotch whiskey, in this case, really peaty, smoky scotch from Eiley called Lafroig. You can find it at most spirit stores. So all three of these are gonna blend nicely in this cocktail. All that caramel and oak from the bourbon. We've got a lot of overripe fruit and earthy funkiness from this rum, and then the great smokiness from the scotch. One ounce of our bourbon goes in. And remember, this is 100 proof. We need some high proof alcohols to really get this going. One ounce of our funky Jamaican rum, Smith & Cross at 114 proof. And then essentially just about a teaspoon, so just a couple drips of this smoky Eiley scotch. So a couple ounces of boiling water in that mug, followed by a teaspoon of sugar. And of course, this is a fairly bare bones cocktail but you will find if you make this that it is like any good cocktail greater than the sum of its parts. So we're gonna light the alcohol on fire in this mug. We're gonna introduce a little bit of alcohol to our hot water and then back, adding a little bit more each time we do it. Before long, we can have a long stream of water. The sugar is getting caramelized. We're burning off a little bit of this high proof alcohol and it looks gorgeous. And this is when it gets a little bit dangerous, but well worth it. When you've tossed it back and forth a few times, clamp the other mug right on top, extinguish the fire and add it while it's piping hot to our toddy glass. Now while it's really hot, we'll garnish with our best looking lemon twist. A little citrus oil on top binds everything together. Twist around and lay it right on top. There we go, our blue blazer style hot toddy. Drink up. Thanks for watching this week's episode on a blue blazer. I hope you enjoyed it. This is clearly a slightly more advanced cocktail. So if you want to learn even more about cocktails and the science of whiskey, you're going to want to subscribe to our newsletter. You'll find a link in the comments below. In the meantime, be careful when you make this cocktail. You do not want your kitchen smelling like burnt hair. I learned that one the hard way. <laughs>